Yeah. Okay, Ben. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, shoot the brakes. Ben. Oh. Hey, y'all. Jojo back here with you day before America's birthday and we got a big day planned because guess what? Today I got my buddy Al. I got our 62 Chrysler and what are we doing today Al? Doing a will it run. Will it run? Will it run? Yeah? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. All right so let's take these fine folks in case you didn't see our first video that we did a walk around. This is a 1962 Chrysler Newport. It has a big block 361. It's a crew cab. It's mm -hmm. got the Astrodome dashboard, which came standard on like what? What were those, Al? What were they standard on these dashboards? They were like 59 or 60. One of those here. Through 62. 50, yeah. Did you know, of course we got. Thing is cool. Oh, oh listen to that creaky old girl. Yeah, so what we're dealing with today is we need to see if this car is going to light off. We have um, this, a lot of stuff planned. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff planned. I can't reveal all the secrets right now, but this car is going to come in awfully handy to us if it runs, even if it doesn't. So without further ado, Alex, why don't we get the hood open on this hog? Do it. Tell you what. I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and then we'll get the hood open and I'll uh, bring you in and show you kind of what we're dealing with here. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Anywho, this is what we got. Okay. This is what they call a... Might run engine. A might run engine. This is a B block. It's not a raised block. It'd be the, the same lineage. It's like a 383. Uh, 350, 361, which this is. 383 B series engine. It's got a high chance of running, we're saying. It's got a high chance of running, maybe. Um, I can see right now we're missing the coil, which sucks. And then I got this ballast resistor here, but you know, usually the Chrysler's got them over there on the firewall. So I think what the first thing we're gonna do, what else we got? The Vacuum advance was disconnected. The heater hose was disconnected right here. That could be an issue. Um, where does that go? Oh, here it is. It's rotted off right here. So we'll have to put Over a the middle of that. Yeah, we'll have to put a piece of hose on there. So why don't we... Oh, I did turn it over before I bought it. And it did spin over. So let's... Let's see if that, let's see if it spins over still. That's been a couple months. I'm gonna grab, can you, oh. We'll need some oil, Joey. Mm. Here, let's bring the folks in at home. Here, hold that like that while I'm turning it over. Oh. Oh. Whew. It's tight. It's tight. We need to uh, we need to get a socket on that crankshaft pulley. How about this? Since we're planning on using this engine, why don't we pull the spark plugs out and see what they look like? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get these spark plugs out of here. I'll give you a, get you set up with a socket. Maybe we'll do time lapse on this part. I bet you I can fit my hands in that spot that you can't get. Oh, the threads. What? Look at the threads were a little rusted, but the, uh, the electrode and everything is looking pretty good, actually. I think what we'll do is we'll pull a little oil in here and we'll clean them up with a wire brush, put a little oil in the cylinders, and then we'll roll it over, put the plugs back in and call it good. Let me try this other side. I think one of these was broke on this side. Oh no, it was the... Spark plug boot on this side is broke. Das boot. Das boot. Hurry up, Daryl. I'm working, buddy. 
Are you work? Are you working hard or hardly working? Working hard. Oh, look at this. This one looks like. Oh, this one's a champion. <laughs> the rest were auto lights. That's all right. Uh, this one goes here. This one goes here. Hashtag not sponsored. What? Oh yeah, auto light. Yeah, Autolite traditionally is a Ford spark plug. A Champion is traditionally a Chrysler spark plug. And a AC Delco is a traditionally a GM spark plug. General Motors? Mm-hmm. Which would be like Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac. And the last one is a champion. So we got what? Five auto lights and three champions. That makes eight. All right, I'm gonna put some oil in this hog. It's just out of, I know there's two ways of thought on that. I'm gonna put some oil in them, roll the engine over by hand, and I'll clean up the spark plugs with a wire brush and then we'll be back. We'll start in on the ignition system. Oh, I realized something. This car is kind of hard to work on. Hmm, maybe that's why you don't see too many of them on YouTube. Oh well, here we go. Where's the, the manifolds are like way intrusive. I can't see the spark plug hole anywhere close. There we go. All right, on to the next side. All right. Let's see if I can Spin it over by hand now. Obviously the plugs are out, so that's good. I should be able to grab this belt. Oh. I'll loosen it up. And spin it over. Spin it over, over. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Can you spin it up? Yeah, I think. Oh. Gotta make sure the highest pin pops a little bit. Well, yeah, we gotta make sure it rolls all the way over. Ooh, that water pump's rotating. Turn it over, over. Oh my gosh. That's gotta be all the way, right? Listen. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think so. All right, at this point, right, at this point, I feel confident that the engine is free. It, it made a couple revolutions. So now I think what we're gonna do is I think we should put uh, a battery in it, maybe, and see if it'll crank over with the key. See if it'll spin the engine over with a key. That, I'm not super, like. Do you think it'll start? Well, it's not gonna start until we have spark and fuel and compression. So I think what we should do right now is we should just hook the battery up and see if we have, one, if it burns to the ground, because there's a short somewhere we can't see, and two, if it'll, if the wiring is good from the key switch to the fuse box through the bulkhead to the starter relay down to the starter. Oh my god, it's leaking. Hmm? It is leaking all over the floor. Where? Come here. Oh yeah, that's where I put the oil in the cylinders. 
All right, let's put this hog in here. Right here, watch out, buddy. All right, here's our battery tray. That's negative. Oh, I got the... Oh. Piece of cake. Oh. Man, this wants to take one hog-ass battery. It's got a huge battery box. All right. Here's our, I know it won. Here's our positive. Eh. What do you want to bet we'll be looking at the, we'll be looking at this here before too long? Oh yeah, she's nice and loose. Let's tighten that down a little bit. That's too loose. Yeah. Is that yeah, that's positive for sure. I'm positive? Are you positive? Is that positive? Oh for crying out loud. Alright, now back up, Terry. No, oh, wait a second. We got this. All right, hold on. I almost made a fatal error. I got the battery in backwards. That would have been, been super bad. God dang, Jojo. I wonder why this keeps clamping down and clamping down. What an idiot. See, we all make mistakes. That almost. All right. Positive here. Do you have safety glasses on, Al? Well, get them on. Yeah, I think you probably should. Why? Why? Because this part could get a little rough. Here. Okay. Think it's on right? I, yeah, negative goes to the block. Positive is going to the starter relay. Why is this the hard part? Look. Look in the car. Do you see anything on fire or anything? Run. Run and look. see anything. All right. Nothing's on fire. All right. Is it in? Yeah, it's on. I don't see okay. nothing on fire. I don't see anything on fire? Nope. All right, let's see if we got any... Whoa, that, that was a... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got we can use here? How about... Don't light, no. How about... Oh, grab the fire extinguisher to have on hand. Do we have any... Oh! We got headlight. Headlights. Head they work. Edge. We got two. Yep. Oh, sweet. Do we got any tail lightage? Probably not. You don't uh, know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I can't tell. I think there that is. That one works. Yeah. That one does not work. Okay, no. cool. All Let right. Me check. So we got some lightage. Do we got turn signalage? Uh, oh no, because the ignition's off. All right. We don't know what the heck this thing's going to do here. If it catches on fire, turn it off. Whoa. Ooh, we got something. Did it spray oil, Al? Nope. Are you sure? Uh, I can't tell. All right, here, come in here. I want you to bump the starter over. I literally am not going to. Just real quick, choom, like that. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Alex, I believe in you, please. No, I'm not doing it. Alex, you're on film. I don't trust it either. That's why I'm not going to, it's not going to start. It doesn't have the coil. It's still missing parts. Let's see what it does. All right. It was turning. It was turning. We have crossed a major milestone. The car turns over with the key. So now what we need to do is I need to get Alex in the igni in the no. cockpit. And I need to put a test light and see if we have power to where the coil leads are. And then we can install a new coil. And he is snacking. Alex, what are you snacking on? Crackers. What? <laughs> I'm not starting it. I'll open it up. Okay. Well, let's keep let's keep on trucking here. All right. Let's see what we got for coilage. All right. Can you turn the key on to on? Just on, not start. First click. Oh my God. 
Uh, hold on. Before you do that, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if the folks at home. Let me make sure. It looks like I got. It's not already on. Oh, it looks like they got these labeled. Look at here. They got them labeled, Al. Negative. And then these must be. I thought the positive. Does the positive have the suppressor on it, Al? Do you remember? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. All right, well, here's the negative. This goes to the points. Yeah? Yeah, that, that's right. This is like on the new question. Yeah, they don't have. All right, turn the key on. Mm. It should be this lead here. It should be hot. And then first this. click. First click. Yep. Yeah. We got voltage there, Al. Oh, we had voltage. Can you see that on the camera? We got voltage. Yep. All right, cool. So, all right, let's hook up our coil, which we don't have, but I did. Do you want me to turn it off? What? Car? Yes, turn the car off. Ooh. All right, here we go. I wonder if it's got more miles. Get on there. Half inch. Where's my parts guy? Oh, for crying out loud. You tightened it up, Joey. I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver, Al. I don't know how close that should be. This says it was positive. No, this one was negative from the, from the, this is going to be like this. Like that. All right, update y'all. Through the magic of the YouTube and the fact that I'm not really even certain that time is real, yeah. we are back. So this is what I've done. Let me show you it's what we've done. Man. Yeah, man. So, so far what we have done is I have cleaned and installed all the spark plugs, okay? There was a bad wire, but in the back of the car I did find a partial wire set. And I also reattach this heater hose back to the water pump. The water pump, if this car does run, it's going to be, that water pump's going to be loud. So the other thing I want to do right now is I want to vacuum off the top of the engine because in the event it doesn't, it does actually run. If you look, there's like major dirt dobberage that is preventing me from opening the car. Oh yeah, there we go. Like I need to clean all this off. Okay. There's a lot of leaves, there's a lot of debris. And then we're gonna check from, for spark and I can almost guarantee you that we're gonna have to get in there and clean the points. So why don't we set you up here, we'll get this cleaned off, the top of the engine cleaned off, and then um, we'll start messing with the points. Right, Al? Let's do it. All right. Why jump plug it? So it didn't burn down. So uh, this is how you. Whoa. That's how you crank over a Chrysler without a key. <laughs> that scare you? Yes. All right. So that's nice. If you want to steal a Chrysler, boy, they're easy. All right. So this is the part of the journey that I am somewhat concerned with. So this car has a torque flight push button transmission. It says it's in neutral, but it doesn't have a park feature. So what I think what I would like to do, ooh, let me show you what's going on. It's in neutral right now, right? But if you, uh, 
you know, I'm not feeling really warm and fuzzy about what's going on here. The other thing too is I'm not super, I don't really want to press on the brakes. So the parking, there is no park, okay? There's a, there's a small drum on the back of the transmission. I don't know if you're familiar with these transmissions, but that also hits a relay that doesn't let the, that turns the brake on up here. I don't know if that cable's any good. I don't know if that drum's even got shoes in it. Hey, you know, we're gonna test so it. as a precaution, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack the back of the car up and put it on jack stands in case the thing does fire up and it's in gear. Because I don't wanna run over, I don't wanna run over Alex or myself, that would suck. And I also don't want it to run all the way across the street and run into the neighbor's house. Because not only does this not have any park, it also doesn't have any brakes whatsoever. So let's jack the back of the car up, Al, and get some jack stands underneath there before we Drop check for spark. Tractor? Yeah, you can. Kay. We'll be back. All right. So the next step here is to check for spark, Al. We got the car jacked up, so I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this coil lead off, and I want you to turn the engine over. Oh my God. I need you to turn the engine over. Okay. Uh, what? We... All right, go for it. Do I hit the breaker? No. Okay, 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 okay. All right, did you guys see that at home? Al, I want you to come see this. We got sparkage, which is amazing because usually always you have to file the point. Okay, so this time we don't have to file the points for whatever reason. I don't know why. I, my best guess, the guy I got this car from said it had been off the road for like 20 years. I guess points don't need clean. So, oh yeah, here, Al. Do that again. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, here, let me show you. See if I can do this without shocking myself. Real quick, Al. All right, that's enough. That ought to do it. Okay, all right, so we got this here. Ooh, that's loose. Um, let's hook. Oh, let's, this comes from the, I don't know what they were doing here. Uh, let's, let's put this here. Okay. And then let's cut the line going to the gas tank itself. And get a little pony keg hooked up or something. Okay. Now we need to take this one off down here. That's the line going down the tank, back to the tank. So we'll put a line on here and we'll run it to a auxiliary gas tank. Uh, all right, let's go in, I'm gonna go under the car, watch out. I'm gonna set this right here. The hose is wet, so that should do it. We'll see if it'll draw some fuel up there, buddy. All right, it all comes down to this. I'm turning the key on, we're going live. Going live, hoss. Alex, get in here. No, I'm not, absolutely not. It's not gonna be loud, it's got a muffler no, on it. No, absolutely not. All right, key's on. Oh, you know what we should do, check, Al? We gotta check to see if it's got oil in it. What? So we have to check to see if it has oil in it. Turn the key off. All right, let me put let me put you on the stand. We'll check the oil. Now we're gonna crank it. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Is key on? Yes. 
here, let's hit her with a little gasoline. Right here. Ready? Hit what? Oh, give her a little, oh, give her a little tickle. Why do we need that? To prime it. Now, does this work now? Oh yeah. All right. Don't light it out from there. Here goes. You got the key on, Al? Yes, it's on. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. She's really cool, Joey. Holy uh, cow. Back to the uh, exhaust cam. Yeah. Cut to the exhaust cam. I'm gonna put my safety glasses on. <laughs> Alex, I need you to help me. Why? I need help up here. I gotta put, give it a little more gas, and then we're gonna hit it again. Okay? It's gonna be a disaster. No, no, it's not gonna be a disaster. I did hear a little lifter noise. Of course, it's gotta build some oil pressure. Um, let's hit her again with a little bit of sauce. Oh yeah, that'll do it. And let's see what we got going on here. Ready, Al? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. All right, here we go. It's alive. It's not happy. Darn it. But dude, look at all that smoke. Is it smoking like chooching? Holy shnikes. See, that's why I had it pulled out of the garage. We don't have accelerator pump yet, pumpage, I don't think. Oh, no, wait. Talk about Oh, pump. we do. We do have accelerator pumpage. All right. Let's hit her again, Al. Ready? Ready? Yeah, kind of. I, I mean, I'm see. never ready, but still. I heard some clanging and banging up here. That must just be the fan. All right, let's hit her. Ready? She don't want it. Whoa. Something sounds like shit. You know what? Go in the car. I'm going to start it up again. See if it's got oil pressure. I'm like... It sounds like it doesn't have any oil pressure. Right here, oil pressure, see it? What will it say? It'll either say low or high. See where the needle is right now? It should move, okay? Right. So sometimes these old Chryslers lose their prime when they sit, the oil pumps. So we'll see, maybe it's just lost its prime. But it sounds like the valve train is just rattling to beat hell. I mean, it's a Chrysler, what do you expect? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? It's that low. It stay, did it move at all? No. Ooh, all right. Uh, well. It worked. At it, least. it worked, it ran. So let's figure out why. Oh my god. We don't have any Saying oil pressure. Saying to fix the Chrysler video. It's a <laughs> will it run video. It's a will it run? 20 minutes short. Yeah, will it run? I don't know. Yes, probably. Because it did. Because it did. All right, from here I'm going to see why it doesn't have any oil pressure. Alex, are you excited? Yes. I'm excited as well. Alex doesn't want to deal with a loud engine. And I do. So I think what we're going to do is cut it off here. And then I'm going to start another video where we get into the meat and potatoes of what, what's really going on with this thing and make it run better. better. More better. Yeah. Like Alex says, make it run, make it run more better is what Alex says. So oh I appreciate God. you tuning in. Does our 62 Chrysler with the 361 run? Yes. Does it run well? Eh. Does it puff out black smoke at the beginning? Yes. Yeah, does it chew some oil? Yes. Has it been sitting for 20 years? Probably even longer. We got it going. This one was really easy. It didn't even have to file and adjust the points, which is very odd. Look at my screen. But 
I hope uh, you guys appreciate watching and I uh, hope you stay tuned because we're going to do a couple more videos on this old girl here. We got big plans for this hog. So as always, right Al? Subscribe. Oh yeah, like, subscribe and share and all that. I'm glad you guys are jo joining in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.